Hey ladies, so the curly girl method. I wanted to talk about this before when I did my natural hair talk on breakage and shedding because a lot of you ladies, when I was mentioned that I used the lock method, you ladies, some of you ladies mentioned that you used the curly girl method. And I've heard about the curly girl method, but you know, the curly girl method, you, you really, you have to avoid a lot of things, like sulfates for one silicones and heat and that can be like if you use a blow dryer or whatever the case may be any type of styling tool but there's other things in it as well you know like the wash and go situation Kelly cannot do or wear a wash and go maybe I can I don't know I'm not planning on trying it but um yeah I mean you can get a further detail video there's so many out there the one that I can recall that kind of like went into like deep detail was mahogany curls like she really lets you know so if you want to look at her video i'll link it below somewhere just so you can if you want to know about it but for you ladies that do know about it i want you to leave comments below to kind of like i mean i watch her video i get it i understand but sometimes you like to just hear there might be a twist on certain things like for instance like the lock method some people don't do it the lock method they may do lco so it, it may be, do you do the whole curly girl method to the T, or do you just do certain things? And if you do it, are you seeing those results that you're supposed to see from it, where you're retaining moisture, and you're seeing, you know, because it's not, you know, you're not going to, it's not gonna, like a hair growth situation. It's just retaining moisture. Are you seeing that? And if you have used the lock method, you know, what's the difference? Do you see there's a difference between the two? Just not... What should I say? I'm, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Do you see a difference not only because of you're not using the silicones and the the sulfates and the heat and things like that? Do Are you really seeing a difference between the two? If so, let me know because I was kind of taken back because, I mean, I understand the lock method. You can use any cream that you choose, you know, but with the, with the curly girl method, you know, you're really strict, you're on a routine, and you're trying to retain moisture without using those harsh things, as they would say. Because some folks can use it. And me personally, even though I do have dry hair, I do use sulfates. Some sulfates. And I do use some mild ones. So, I'm not, like, totally whole natural with the things that I do use in my hair. And I've mentioned that to you guys before, so you guys do know that. But, um, let me know if you're using the curly gum. I know that I remember seeing maybe one or two... Of you ladies mentioning down below about using the curly girl method how is it working for you and what results are you actually seeing is it like a dramatic difference from like the lock method or any other method or any other regimen that you may be using let me know leave your comments below please rate comment and subscribe